Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today I'm going to show you how to create system views. Alrighty, so whenever we're making any changes to the system, it's always a good idea to start within your solutions. It's usually not great practice to immediately add customizations directly to the default solution. For example, if I were to navigate straight to, let's say, the account entity and add a view or add a form from here, it's going to add it to the default solution. Um, and generally it's not best practice to do that. So what I would recommend is start from your solution. So I've created a solution here called creating system views. And the first step is going to be to add the entity we want to add the system view to. So we're going to go to add existing entity. Let's just focus on the account entity for now. Uh, do not select any of the components. Um, we're just, we're going to create our own component. So if you select on the account here, you're gonna see that we don't have anything. We have no fields, we have no relationships, views, forms, no nothing. And that's intentional. We, we, uh, we only want to add the view in our solution. That's the only thing we want in the solution. So to add a system view, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you just hit add view. Let's say accounts added this month. So let's start with our filter. We're gonna say Let's go ahead and um, filter out all of the accounts that are inactive. So we're going to only look at active accounts. And the created, add created on. Uh, let's say, let's do created this month. I think that's reasonable. So we need to um, add our fields here. Let's add account name. Let's go city let's go primary contact make that a little bigger maybe we can add state too I think that makes sense uh, what else we could do annual revenue and we could do There we go. And we're set. So just hit save and then we're going to publish it. All right. Part two of this is, uh, you know, once I've created my system view, where am I going to see it? So you're going to see it in any model driven apps that the entity has all views selected. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. And then the second case, I'll show you what's gonna happen here is we're not gonna immediately see that view. This is just a basic little model driven app I have set up. And all we're seeing is all accounts. We're not seeing that, that view we just created. And the reason for that is if we go into our model driven app here, that specific view is not selected. You can see I only have one view selected. This goes for Dynamics too. If, you know, dynamic sales, Dynamics field service, if your model driven app does not have either all views selected, meaning this is checked, or if it doesn't have that specific view checked, you're not going to see it. And so what we're going to do here is select all accounts, let's say active accounts, that's just a view that's there. And here's our view we just added, accounts added this month. So now that we select that, we just hit save, publish, we'll wait for this to publish and then we'll revisit our model-driven app and we'll now be able to see those extra views. So if I just refresh, hit this drop down. Now we can see those, those extra views. Accounts added this month. I don't think I've added any this month, so it's blank. We can also see active accounts. Easy enough. All right, I think that's all we're gonna cover for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.